So for my number 5 tip it would be to improve your visual clarity. There are plenty of settings that can help you do this such as disabling cut-ins, increasing the button size and speed, disabling the skill window and effect text, and all these help you do is to improve your readability. This will help you do harder maps easier, as there are a lot of fast notes on harder maps which you have to hit in a certain time window. So my number 4 tip is quite similar to my number 5 tip, and that's to improve your audio clarity. I recommend that you use wired headphones, because wireless headphones have input lag for bandery. You can also disable the live voices, which are the noises that the band members make when they activate their effects. And you can also tinker around with the volume of songs and live sound effects, so you really know when you're hitting those notes. So my number 3 tip is to change our sound adjustment. So in the settings there is an option that's just called sound adjustment with a slider. Next to it there is a button called tap to adjust sound. So what this does is it changes the game's leniency algorithm in order to account for any audio and input lag caused by your phone or your headphones. This is a must for wireless headphone users but can also be a benefit on certain devices where the input lag on the screen is quite large. So my number 2 tip is to enable light mode. So light mode gets rid of many of the special effects that the game has. This also improves performance on lower end devices and more frames per second gives you a higher chance of hitting the notes you need. Frame rate is key in idle games and increasing the frames per second that you have will definitely give you a higher chance of being successful at the game. So my number one tip is to optimise your band. This is less in the settings and it's more on the band screen. Try and aim to have a team of a certain colour and a certain band choice to maximise your score. Buy items such as the instruments from the music shop, the flyers and posters from Circle and the bonuses from Recido for percentage bonuses based on the band choice and the attribute that you have. Train your members if you have gems, use skill tickets to improve skills and practice members in your team to increase their levels in order to have a team which is right for you and which can top scores. I will make a further video on how to optimise your band later on, as it is quite a hard process to master. Thanks for watching my top 5 tips to help new players in Bang Dream. If you liked the video then make sure to give it a like, comment with some suggestions on what other videos I should do on Bang Dream, subscribe for more Bang Dream content and I'll see you in the next video.